Howdy folks, this is uh, my contest entry, it's PC31, the vinyl policeman, Mike. Um, this is my contest entry into What The Gym's fantastic contest. Um, Adam, we all know Adam, the great fella, produces really entertaining videos. And um, this contest he actually introduced to try and get through the 500 mark. And the last time I looked, I think he was about 505. So he's gone through it and uh, he's doing really, really well as he deserves to because it's a great channel. But anyway, Adam, what he's done is he's he's done a Wild West contest. And uh, there's only a few questions, but the first one is you've got a sub, obviously. Um, second one is you've got a member of the VC, which, okay. Uh, anyway, the next one is show a movie with a Wild West theme. Um, or if you haven't got that, then just show a picture. So a couple for me, um, in the UK, we had this thing called the Comic Strip Presents, and it ran for about 10, 12 years, back uh, around about the 80s and early 90s. And um, one of, it, basically it's a series, it's, it's comic things, they're all separate little stories, and uh, they are all cover all different subjects. And the one which for this, for me, is called A Fistful of Traveler's Checks. And uh, you've got Rick Mel, Aid Edmondson, basically, the young, most of the young ones team, and also Dawn French, Jennifer Saunders, um, Keith Allen. So yeah, a fistful of travellers' checks. Um, basically, they go to Spain. I mean, Rick Mao and um, Peter Richardson are kind of would-be Western gunslingers, and they go to um, Spain, and uh, it's pretty dreadful. <laughs> There's some fantastic comedy in this actual box set. I mean, the bad bad news, which I think everybody would have heard of, the bad news band. Two of them are on here. Two the bad news tour, and uh, more bad news, and uh, various other one with um, Peter Cook, Mr. Jolly lives next door, which is fantastic, and loads of others as well. But a fistful of travellers' checks with the western theme. No, it, it's pretty bad. The other one I just wanted to quickly show uh, because of. Um, Joe Strummer was straight to hell. And uh, this was this was Alex Cox who produced it. Alex Cox's deranged punk Western. And um, he also directed Sid and Nancy. The reason why I got this quite simply was because of Joe Strummer. Joe Strummer's in it. There's um, Alvis Costello, the Pogues are in it. Grace Jones is in it. Um, Dennis Hopper. But this is Courtney Love. This is one of those things where you've got some guys who do a bank robbery. Joe Strummer's one of the guys. They're, they're hit men. They fail in the job they're going to do. It's like a comedy as well. And um, they end up going to, I think it's filmed in Almeria in Spain, but it's meant to be a, a whole Western theme to it. And they go to this town and everybody's high on coffee and there's bloodshed and murder and carnage. Um, but yeah, okay. It's also pretty dreadful. But it's Joe Strummer, so it's in my collection there to stay. But uh, yeah, straight to hell. A deranged punk western, it sure is. Next question from Adam was, show Wild West theme vinyl, CD or cassette. So the one I'm going to show, Ben Rankin showed um, some Nick Cave and Warren Ellis soundtrack, Proposition, which I think is set in Australia. The one I'm going to show is also a soundtrack by Nick Cave and Warren Ellis. But it's the assassination assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. One of their wonderful Nick Cave, Warren Ellis soundtracks. This is the one with um, Brad Pitt there in the title role. But, uh, there it is. Ambient music, as they do so well in these soundtracks. This isn't the finest one, but it's certainly good. And I've got it on a glorious goldy type vinyl so adam's final question was your favorite cowboy wild west song and my one comes from this album from bruce from 2019 western stars and it's the title track western stars it's playing in the background now and this song actually tells a story that's being told from the perspective that the narrator is an old actor and he's looking back on his career and it's very nostalgic. 
the, the days of the westerns and riding across Arizona, etc. It's very expensive. And he says, one day I was shot by John Wayne in a film. And uh, the only thing that gives him a thrill nowadays is a little blue pill. But uh, it's, it's a fantastic track. The album is is absolutely superb. It's got such atmosphere, say such nostalgia to it. So anyway, that was the final question into Adam's contest. As I say, Adam's got through his 500 now, well through, and he's going to push on. And um, anyway, over to you, Adam. There we go.